Cougars back on the road for their second trip to Iowa in the last three weeks. Over the last two ball games, they're averaging nearly 600 yards a ball game. That's second best among all NAIA football teams. Grandview, meanwhile, they have emphasized defense. The Vikings feature the MSFA's number one scoring defense, uh, yielding only about 14 and a half points a ball game. Three wide to the right side as Fulton out of the gun looks right and pumps, and now it's going to be hit and sacked. Coming through the Cougars, get them inside the 25 yard line. So they're coming through there, and that might have been Matt Carton that got to penetrate. Derek Fulton will work with the empty backfield once again, three wide to the left. That's the wide side of the field. Fulton, the sophomore quarterback, looking, looking. The pressure's coming, throws over the middle, and that's picked off inside the 10. And a return across the 25 and out to the 28-yard line, and USF will get the ball back on the pick that time. Tabler with the interception last week against Marion. And here is Miller wanting to throw, pulls it down, can't find anything, now reverses, throws back right, and there's a catch by Keem Kels off the 45, and he brings it up short of midfield to the 49-yard line. And that's going to be a big factor. This time from the right side, Hashmark, Fulton, low snap, deep handoff, and Badgett, uh, or Fulbright it is, uh, got away from one and then is knocked down line of scrimmage, but it'll back off to the shotgun formation. Two wide again either side of the field. Cougars backing off in coverage, and here's a quarterback draw, run by Fulton, Fulton and he is nailed. Uh, got back to the line of scrimmage. Corey Terrell uh, in on the stop. They've got the ball at the eight-yard line now, second down and four. Fulton with Perez lined up behind. Stretch handoff again. Perez uh, trying to look for some running room, running out of options and pushed out of bounds. That time, uh, well defended. Trying to get to their own 30-yard line on a second down call. Hunsucker gives ground out of the pocket, throws over the middle. He's got a diving attempt, and that's Matt Knoll. He's got a first down, so a positive start now for U.S. Just under four minutes time remaining. Cougars, if they can get on the board here before halftime, that would give them a little bit of confidence and the momentum headed to the second half. Unsucker again, pitches the ball left side. Here's Harvey, turns the corner, fights his way across the 40-yard line up to William Stadium next Saturday. Here's a drop ball for Fulton, picks it up and scrambles in his sack back around the 11-yard line. So that one had trouble from the get-go. Thought or two on the first half, Coach, what we got to do in the second half. Well, we've got a couple uh, major bullets that we're not, don't have in the gun right now in offense. Campbell and Miller. So, I mean, we're going to have to have some guys step up and get it done. Defensively, we're playing pretty well. We got to eliminate their perimeter uh, screens. Made some adjustments here at the half. Other than that, we've done very well. I called the fake punt, so we put us in the hole there. I was trying to get something going after Campbell went out, get some momentum. Didn't it backfire, but we'll fight back. There as well. Here comes the kick. That's a line drive kick. Keanu White's got it at the five. From the near side, works to the 10 across the field to the 15. Trying to turn the corner, won't get the job done. Then when the kick coverage was there, right on the money. And let's see who got credit for that uh, stop for St. Francis. And uh, give, let's give 93 yards, no touchdowns, one interception. Cougars actually had a couple of shots at a couple of more picks. They'll run the ball and there's nothing there in the middle. So. And he looks uh, to take the snap and wants to run the ball, hands it off, and that time it'll be a tackle for a loss. It was slowed up for a moment, and then uh, Cougars got the great. Cougars playing four of their first five games this year on the road. Here's the uh, handoff. They want to run the ball, and nothing there. St. Francis has really done a much better job. Side. And uh, here's Fulton wanting to throw, being pressured and dropped. And the ball is free. It'll be picked up now, and they roll it down. The whistle blew by the referee. It was a free ball. And that may have cost St. Francis six points. Zach Bruce came up with this. And he'll try to throw again. Looking, throws, pulls it down, now throws. It's got a catch by Kelsaw. Works to the outside. And he's across the 30-yard line. The third quarterback used by Kevin Donnelly. An improving field position finally for St. Francis. Yoder gives ground again, steps up the pocket nicely, throws left and's got another catch. And that one was Matt Knoll. Knoll trying to come back and help. Ready to 
Put the play into motion once again. He's got Harvey lined up behind him. Wants the throw, though. Looking, looking. Steps up, throws over the middle. And a diving attempt, and a catch is made. That's at the 40-yard line. Aaron Knight gathers one in. So finally, the Cougars coming alive with 13.51 remaining. They are into Grandview territory for one of the few times today at the 40-yard line. They've not yet marked the ball ready for play. Yoda ready to snap, have the ball snap to him, and he does. And now the rush is coming, and they've got him sacked back at midfield. Valentine out of the pistol. Will he try to throw? And uh, wanted to hand the ball off. He didn't. And uh, not much there that time for Mike Perez. As Valentine looks, and uh, he'll hand it off, and that's going nowhere. Matt Carton read that play and got through there. Second down and 10. Ming steps up the puck, throws over the middle, and that's a nice catch, leaving his feet to go up and get it at midfield. That'll be a first down, with what turned out to be a pivotal touchdown for St. Francis last week. Clock is moving, and Yoder wants to go to the air again. Looks in the pocket, throws over the middle, and here's a comeback pattern run and caught by Colin Harris. The remaining in the ball game. Yoder rolls to his left, looking, looking, sets his feet, fires, got a man, the ball is caught inside the five. That was Espinoza. Nice catch, is, uh, has not moved a bit. Still shows 90 seconds, never ran during that last play. It'll be first and goal at the five. Yoder wants to throw, looking, and looks, and he's got Espinoza just over, he's squared up, across the goal line, it'll be a five-yard tuck, and the Cougars score last. But in between, it was a run of 23 unanswered points by Grandview. And uh, they'll obviously move way up in the rankings, and deservedly so. An impressive performance, both sides of the ball here today.